very happy to uh, host uh, the second project uh, with us, which is Cassava Swap. Cassava Swap is an African project. It's the African's first non non custodial decentralized liquidity protocol uh, on Binance Smart Chain. Um, so, yeah, Cassava uh, Swap is Africa's first non custodial decentralized liquidity protocol on Binance Smart Chain. The platform supports farming, NFT minting, and marketplace, and a vast integration of 40 plus fiat payment channel to ease buying and selling of crypto assets. So yeah, without further ado, I want to welcome Ed and Emmanuel joining us today. And uh, feel free to start your uh, presentation anytime soon, anytime from now. Yeah. Um, hello. Um, yeah. Can you can you hear me? Yeah, I, we can. Okay. Um, my name is Edward, and I'm with here with my teammate Emmanuel. So we're here to represent Cassava Swap. And um, before we do that, I'd like to say thank you to the uh, Light, uh, sorry, the Firecoin team for this wonderful opportunity to share our work. I'll be sharing my screen now. Can I go ahead? Please, please. Okay. Uh, okay. So Casava Swap, um, this is our vision. Um, I hope my slide is playing. My slide is going well. It is, it is. Okay, so our vision basically is to build Africa's first and leading automated market maker, the DeFi protocol that is easy to navigate, has lower fees and has a wide flexible in integration of fiat to satisfy the decentralized financial needs of a wider range of users across the continent. And this is actually going to be first because Africa does not have one yet. So like you rightly introduced earlier, so Cassava Swap is um, Africa's first non-custodial decentralized liquidity protocol, as I earlier mentioned, and we are hosted on the Binance Smart Chain. So the platform supports farming, uh, NFT minting and marketplace, and we have a vast integration of 40 plus fiat payment channels to ease buying and selling of crypto assets. So Cassava Swap provides a set of open source tools for the following. So we have a DeFi, decentralized finance, where users can swap uh, their assets for one, uh, swap one asset for another, we also have the lending and borrowing NFT, which is a new feature that we integrated that is not seen anywhere else in the world. And we'll discuss that more further later. So we also have the NFT management tools for that. So with Cassava Swap users will be able to publish and evaluate their NFTs, also organize their NFTs, and you could also archive your, the NFT, your NFT collection. So we have the NFT collection widget uh, where users will be able to uh, link a, a wallet to the Cassava Swap platform. And when that is done, uh, the system automatically pulls, uh, searches and pulls uh, different NFTs found in the wallet and places them in the gallery for the user. So what is Cassava Swap? Basically, Cassava Swap is a DeFi protocol. Uh, it is also an NFT marketplace. Uh, Cassava Swap also has a utility token, uh, which is Casa, which will be will come to that too. And it is a revolutionary, an evolutionary P2P system and a receipt attestation platform, which is also another new feature and a very interesting one about Cassava Swap. So this is the flowchart uh, for the DeFi, uh, the DeFi part of Cassava Swap. So here, from what you can see, it's a very simple one. Uh, users, uh, users, please, users, uh, users, using the cassava clients can place orders, either a buy or sell order. 
with the customer swap client, with the client, and the client which interacts directly with the smart contract. Uh, yeah, with the smart contract. So here in the smart contract, we have the router and the Oracle. So the router matches the order and the Oracle fetches the most accurate pricing. So uh, another direct, uh, the cassava client also interacts directly with the Filecoin or the interplanetary file system server. So what it does is that it stores the proof of transaction uh, automatically. And on the other end, we have the, the liquidity pool. So also we have here the flow chart of um, the receipt attestation uh, part or angle of cassava swap that we earlier discussed. So here, from what you can see, uh, the retailer uh, is the initial owner of an item. It could be a gadget. Let me just take, for instance, a mobile phone. If I if I uh, if I have a mobile phone, for instance, I purchase it from a retailer. So the retailer is the initial owner of the device, and the uh, the retailer issues a receipt which is stored on the IPFS or Filecoin server, and a content ID a CID is generated and stored with other metadata on the smart contract. So on the other hand, we have the the verifier who probably uh, want to conduct a transfer of ownership. So the ver what the verifier does is that the verifier requests an ID from the seller. So once the seller provides the ID, the verifier can make a call to the smart contract, which pulls the details of the item and the uh, history, and the history of the item. So this will enable the verifier see the generation of ownership uh, of the said smartphone or gadget or whatever item it is, and not just see the generation, it will also uh, show how much it was sold for in the initial, in the initial uh, stage. And when we have this, you also realize that this will also influence the price uh, the verifier is willing to pay the seller for the gadget. So, because for instance, if I'm if I'm willing to buy a mobile gadget, and it's in its fourth generation, probably ownership or ID has been transferred for the fourth generation, I may not be willing to pay as much as I would if it were directly from the retailer or is directly from the seller who got from the retailer. So that is uh, that, and the server swap also do not just store the, the uh, store the ID, we also serve as an attester to the fact that a small so transaction also happened at this set time and between this amount of persons and this gadget actually exists and the receipt is real. Um, so moving forward, we this is um, what can users do with cassava swap. So first users can exchange BEP20 tokens and wrapped fiat, uh, users can organize their NFT collections. Uh, those ones are pretty straightforward and users can also mint and host, mint their NFT and host the assets on the Firecoin and IPFS server. And now we also, we all know that um, this uh, part now is, a, is, a, is actually one of the factors that actually affect the value of an NFT. So if, for instance, hosting an NFC and an NFT on a centralized server might actually affect the value, but hosting it and uh, on the on the Filecoin or on the IPFS server will also will improve the value of the the NFT. So we are not just helping users maintain host their NFT in a server that is that the safety is guaranteed. We are also helping them in in making sure that they get good what for their NFT. So we also, uh, on, on the Cassava Swap platform, users can also evaluate their NFT. So when you have an NFT minted or tokenized on the Cassava Swap platform, the, the system evaluates your NFT using the different factors 
that determine or influence the value of an NFT and shows you, okay, this is at the estimated price of what your, the estimated price your NFT is worth. So this is actually the feature I was talking about earlier when I said uh, we have a new feature that is not seen anywhere else in the world in our NFT marketplace. So with the Cassava Swap platform, users are going to be able to borrow against an NFT co collateral. That is to say that users can collateralize their NFTs for a loan on the Cassava Swap platform. Now, this actually goes to solve a range of problems for uh, like the bureaucratic processes of loans and banks and uh, other items like that. Because for you to get a loan in the bank, you need to go through some processes. So here in the Cassava Swap platform, we make it easier. So once you have a minted verifiable NFT, uh, you'll be able to, uh, and it's going to be easy to know how much you're going to be able to get because uh, your NFT is going to be evaluated. So your NFT is evaluated, it is minted and it's verifiable. You'll be able to get a loan that uh, they, with your NFT is worth. So that is uh, a feature we're actually very proud of and we're hoping for the world to, to see. And it's actually uh, a nice one because both physical and uh, digital NFTs uh, can be easily verified, easily verifiable. So moving forward, we, we also provide fiat liquidity to the, to the protocol. Uh, for, uh, they, we earlier mentioned that uh, the Cassava Swap platform has um, 40 plus fiat integrations. So this, if I were a user, assume I'm a user and I come to the Cassava Swap platform and I have uh, a random, and I have the Nigerian Naira or the Ghanaian CDs, and I'm not willing to uh, tokenize it or to convert it to uh, a token, another token, or buy probably Ethereum or the Bitcoin with it. I can directly uh, tokenize my local fiat and it's going to be stored as wrapped fiat. For instance, if I'm sending or depositing Nigerian Naira and I want it to remain that way, it's going to be stored as wrapped Nigerian Naira. Okay, so uh, Cassava Swap NFT. So in the Cassava Swap NFT, the steps are actually simple. First, you connect, and at the moment, we are supporting and deploying uh, NFT contracts to the Binance Smart Chain for now. We might extend that in a, few, in a later time, but for now, we are working with the Binance Smart Chain. And you upload, you can upload the, the NFT by either dragging and dropping your assets like images, videos, or documents, or even audios or music, and then you add the required meta tags. So when you've done that, you can now deploy with just one click. So when you click on deploy, it's going to bring out a preview page. And once you're done previewing, you can deploy the generator contract to the Binance Smart Chain. And of course, the IPFS uh, 5.7. So about our token, uh, yeah, the Cassava Swap's token name is Cassava, and the token symbol is Casa, and we have a total of 50 million supplies annually. So the utility of the token first is going to be for governance of the platform. Now the Cassava Swap is um, obviously an open source uh, protocol. So definitely that goes to say that whatever decisions that are going to be taken in the platform are basically going to be determined or defined by the general public or the community, sorry. So who, as a holder of the Casava Swap token, it gives you more voting power because we're going to be voting for it. So the more 
has had to come to have more voting powers. You have to make decisions uh, that are going to affect the affect the community. So that's the first utility for the Casaba swap token, and it is also going to be store of value like the the ETH, the mm-hmm. Filecoin, the BNB, and the BTC. So it's also going to be store of value, and that is that. So far, we are on. We have our communities on the, on Twitter, uh, the Telegram, and we can also get mailed via our official mail and the uh, Gitcoin GitHub GitHub uh, mail. And we have not exactly uh, launched the site because we are uh, there. This there's there's so many features we're actually working on. And we need everything to be in check, but we've uh, uploaded uh, the repositories, most of the repositories on our GitHub, and now they're actually available for users and everyone else to actually see and make contributions to the open source project. So I'm actually open to any questions right now. I am my teammate, of course. Oh, Ed. Uh, so, so do you do you have a demo uh, at the moment? Yes, um, we 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 have a demo in progress, right? But it's not. Okay, okay I have a uh, the technical uh, member of our team is online. Maybe you should have one or two things to say about that. Emmanuel. Hello. Hi, Emmanuel. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, yes, the the demo is in progress, and we will update our uh, Dora our hacker link uh, in less than seventy two hours. Oh, the, okay, okay. That's great. That's great. Um. Yeah. Um. Cool. So, so how long have you guys been working on this project? Well, we started because uh, we joined um, the Binance African Hackathon, though we joined lately. So we we couldn't finish the project before the Hackathon ends, before we saw the Filecoin Hackathon and joined. So we've been working on the project for uh, about three weeks now. Okay, okay. So can you uh, tell us a little bit more about uh um I, I think first question I really love to ask is uh what do you think is the strongest uh strength of your project compared with other d5 projects okay uh regarding that um uh, the fiat you know a lot of persons getting more people involved in crypto taking Nigeria for instance. A majority of people have a um, bank, uh, have money in the bank, and they want to join the crypto uh, community. But they, due to the ban on the centralized exchange, most of these people cannot acquire cryptos because they cannot buy with bank cards. And now we need a system a peer-to-peer system that is strongly backed by the community where with uh, zero tolerance to fraud because I have noticed uh, that most of the current um, peer-to-peer uh, marketplace for cryptos, people can actually upload fake fake bank transfers and all that. And um, due to the companies running these exchanges, uh, not in Nigeria, they are not indigenous and they do not have any partnership, whatever, in those countries. They do not have a means to verify the authenticity of any transfer or transaction, bank transaction between peers. So I believe our strongest strength in this DeFi is our ability to navigate through this by getting more people into the crypto. Hello. Also, uh, 
getting in the area of getting more people involved in crypto, apart from the fact that uh, we can easily incorporate, get more people active in crypto via the fiat integrations and the P2P system. We also have new features where that people who ordinarily would not get into crypto because they want to invest or, or maybe make profits on the long run who want to get involved. And that is uh, probably someone who wants to get uh, access a loan from the, a bank loan or someone who, or retail outlets who want, or people, or yeah, apart from the retail outlets, we also have people who want to uh, secure the receipts of gadgets because you may want to uh, sell the, your gadget and without the receipts, we are humans and anything could happen and people might just lose the receipt somehow. So if that is the case, you want to sell your gadgets or something like that, someone might think it's a stolen item because you don't have proof that the gadget actually belongs to you. So with uh, Cassava Swap, when we're actually giving like a lifetime of proof that you can actually see from at anywhere in time that this is yours and you have a backup somewhere that uh, hackers cannot hack into and the file is gone all of a sudden. So those new features are actually things that actually make us believe strongly that will stand out in the crowd. Got it, got it. Cool. Yeah, um, cool. Uh, I'll be very excited to see your, your, your project's demo. Um, and so, so uh, if, if, you, if you can finish that in a few hours and upload it to Hackerling, we'll love to promote uh, your project demo to the community as well. Um, yeah, and um, um, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, anything you want to share with the community? Um, uh, like, um, what do you want to say to them, like, for today's audience? Okay, um, starting something that, for instance, in a region that has not been done before is usually a very difficult one, and um. That is what Cassava Swap is actually. It's actually a very bold step for us, especially in the DeFi environment. And we need the community and we need all the support we can get. And apart from that, we believe that crypto is a future and we want to make our, we want to contribute our own quota to that future and make leave us our stamp in the world. So we would love for everyone to get more actively involved in crypto and support the Firecoin innovation and the Cassava Swap as well. And we hope that we all grow bigger and better in the future. And that is just that. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Ed and uh, Emma no, for joining us, presenting Cassava Swap uh, with us today. Um, yeah, so uh, guys, uh, if you're watching today's um, project live demo session and really liked what Digital Flyer and Kasawa Swap was, was doing, uh, make sure you go to hackerling.io and vote for those projects and support them early stage. Um, many international brilliant teams, um, when they start early, could really use your help uh, as in you know, something as small as, as uh, like $10, to $100 uh, matters a lot to those early stage projects. Um, um, it's always the hardest uh, when the project just kickstart. And uh, if you can help them like uh, move to the second, third milestone, um, everything will be so much better uh, to them. So, yeah, I want to thank um, um, Ed Emanuel and uh, Dewal joining me, uh, joining us uh, at the project demo live session today. And uh, I want to remind you again that the um, uh, on July 18th uh, is the end of the Falcon um, quadratic funding community grant a hacker link. Uh, if you want to support those early stage projects, make sure you vote for those projects before uh, July 18th. And uh, um, I do have some good news. 
uh, to announce soon. So we've been talking to our, our, our really good partners at Polygon, Harmony, um, and Stacks, and uh, Arweave, uh, that we uh, will move to also like BSC Grant too. Like, like they will all work with us on new contract funding grants on HackerLink soon, uh, from July to September all the way. So uh, stay tuned for our um, um, for our updates. Um, if you haven't followed our YouTube channel, make sure to do that to um, stay close with all the amazing new projects, um, and you will know how 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 you can support them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for joining us today, and uh, thank you so I hope much. You all have a great one. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.